that I'm at an all time. <laughs> Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and today we're playing some Scrap Mechanic, and I'm going to teach you how to build a mechanical staircase in episode 5 of my Scrap Mechanic series. So how to do that, we got a little basic stair, um, stair construction here, which I can link the video in or the on an annotation on the screen at the moment, you can click on that to see how to build two other types of staircases. So we go up this staircase, then we have this staircase, which is my mechanical staircase. You can see some buttons, you see you can control it now, you see some stuff. You go around here, we just have wood cover in it, which makes it look like a cleaner design since if you're just this mechanical staircase by itself, it looks like a pile of crap. But with this, it actually looks more cleaner and slick. So if you want to come to this part of the staircase, you want to climb up the staircase, then you want to activate with the control um the switch, which is connected to the controller, and then it'll happen like this. And this will stop us from falling down. And then we can come up to a second level where we've got our birds, we've got the radio, we can relax and just enjoy the scenery, which is pretty much a desert scenery for this episode since I decided to build on a flatland. And yeah, it looks like we're in the desert today. <laughs> and then you can come here on the other part of the second story and you can just see there. This tactics would be more useful, or this mechanical staircase, would be more useful in PvP or survival since the resources that you'll get to make this will be less you just want the mechanical staircase part but if you want to get the whole thing like I'm doing right now to have a beautiful moments to enjoy the little sunsets that happen on this map and everything like that you can and if we do press the button once again we will be able to go back to our first floor level since I'm considering this to be our ground level and if we come here you can also see from this side you can't see anything but if you come around here you can see another button and another controller and you'll be like, what's that for, Bloodthirsty Lord? I'm going to tell you what that is for. If we activate this one, and then we see, you see, can you see anything, boys? I don't think you can. I don't think you can see it, but John Cena can see it. Watch, watch, watch this. Bang. There we go, boys. We're able to go to a ground floor level, which has a crap load of birdies just waiting for us since they love to just be with us. That's how it is. Birdies just chase us in this game. So we've got a lot of those over there. We come here, we have a little opening we can get out of. Uh, usually we make this a door since if you're playing survival, you don't want anyone to be able to get into this room. So this will be your secret room where you can keep your precious stash of unique items and valuables within the game. But in order to do that, it might take a bit of resources since you have to build kind of high. So then you're able to fit in that little section there. But it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, I can't wait for the survival aspect of this game. So I'm just getting ready for it by doing bases and all these little techniques to pretty much gain advantages within the game and you're able to go up here and relax that's the this is the best thing that you can go from one floor level to the other floor level with only one staircase that isn't connected with a turn or other stuff like I did show you my two types of constructions for, st uh, for stairs in my other video so this is actually pretty useful tell me what you guys think in the comment section below since I think this is very very useful in survival in creative it just makes it look sexier compared to a normal staircase like this and uh, you can see the advantages of it being able to get from one level to the second and be able to say if we have snipe I don't know what the guns are going to be in this if there's going to be guns at all in PvP if there were guns and you say you've had a sniper you can climb up to the top of that second floor level and just snipe enemies that are just running around here so it'd be very useful I love it I'm guessing you guys love it as well and if we could as well, if we wanted to upgrade this, we'll put another door here, just for security reasons, close this up, make a wall, which connects to this part of the second floor level. Then on our ground level, or what appears to be like a basement, but basements are usually underneath the floor, but you know what I mean. Uh, we could put another door here for security reasons, and if we want to put another second door, just in case, if say if an enemy was trying to rush in, and take all our availables, we will have another door we're just waiting there to block that person that's rushing in. So, I've got a lot of ideas for survival, and <laughs> that's pretty much it. I just can't wait for it. The creative mode is just me testing out stuff. As you see, we just made a mechanical staircase, which does a lot. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, just one bad thing about it. You know, it looks, it looks set. Wait, ooh, we flinged off it, but that's cool. It looks clean here. 
the way you walk out to it looks beautiful. When you get to this section here, everything looks like it's upside down or just stuffed up. But that was the only way I could do the staircase. I couldn't think of another way. If there was another way, maybe it would be... It would use up more resources to make this mechanical staircase. But we're going to show you with the connector tool how it is all built. So you have one barrel over there connected to a piece of wood. Then a piece of wood with staircases. There we go. And then we have the control settings, which I'll show you there. Basic settings, nothing too fancy. And then we have our switch, which is connected to the controller. And if we pull that up, we'll get rid of that for a moment. Then we have our secret door. We have our secret door that leads to the ground level, which is a basic bearing there with a controller with those decent settings. So it gives us time to get through. And then also a switch. And maybe if we put this down again, this mechanical staircase. Where is it? There we go. If we put pieces of wood here, we could potentially just cover it up so that no one would be able to see it. Hopefully that would work. And there we go, see? Um, from your perspective, when the staircase is down, there's a good chance you won't be able to see it. A very good chance. We could even cover up this section here since it doesn't matter because it won't interact with the staircase. And there you go, see? And we put it back down again. And you should not be able to see it at all. Unless you're actually on top of the staircase. But then there's no point. You get me? I don't know. But it's interesting. You can do so much with this. When the survival aspect of the game does come out. That's going to be my main priority. Since I love this game already. As you can see. So this was episode 5 on how to build a mechanical staircase. Which is very useful in survival. As I've said multiple times within this video. So mates, if you enjoyed this, show your support by smashing that bloody like button. Let's try to get 10 likes on this video. And if you guys want to see more Scrap Mechanic on this channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We'll be back very soon. Hang on to us, boys, because I ain't seen nothing yet.